Practical Law content is practical because it's written by us, a team of former practicing lawyers, thinking about the needs of practicing lawyers now. At our core is delivering content that people can use in their day-to-day -day lives. We want people to be able to come to the site, type with one finger while they're on the phone to the client and be able to answer the question that's on their mind right there and then. It's not about the law, it's about how to do the law. The Practical Law Standard documents have been drafted by solicitors and barristers who have many years in practice. The documents are becoming market standard. So it's not just practical law editors that have reviewed them, but every one of our customers who is out there as well. All of the Practical Law documents have integrated drafting notes, which tell you the importance of a clause and how it can be negotiated for the best position for your client. When we talk about maintaining resources, there are sort of two loops that, that happen. The first of them is that when we write a piece of current awareness, so when a legal update is published or we comment on some sort of development in, in the law, that finds its way into the maintained content very quickly and that can be from a matter of hours through to you know most a few days. When we talk about the more structural review, is this the right resource? That is done probably on an annual basis. A cold town review is taken, it takes place, people look at it, to see whether this resource properly conveys what it is that, that market practice, what legal developments require, and whether it's structured in the way that makes it most effective for users. I think our current awareness is unique because we don't just aggregate information and pass it straight through to our subscribers. We really do try to distill it, apply a so what's test, and work out what's really going to make the difference to people in practice. The so what test is basically looking at the information and trying to decide will this affect how you advise your clients, is it going to affect how you do deals, are you going to prepare your documents differently and only if it passes that test do we then write a summary and tell our subscribers about it. I think the key thing about the current awareness product is that it sets the legal developments that we cover in a clear practical context. It doesn't just explain what a development is, it explains why you should care about it and it explains what it is you need to do to adapt your practice as a consequence of the development having occurred. We always attend as many events as we can and we also participate in, in various corporate networks. For example, Practical Law is actually the Secretariat to GC100, which is the Association of General Counsel and Company Secretaries for the FTSE 100. And that's really interesting for us because we can see what they're thinking about and as we track and report recent developments to them and help them on their consultation responses, we can identify those things that are of practical importance rather than just of academic interest. We make sure our team's in tune with market needs in a whole variety of ways through various things like our services actually. So for example we've got an Ask Practical Law service that enables our customers to ask us questions and from looking at those questions it keeps us abreast of what's happening in the market or the things that our customers are actually worried about. I think the value of Ask for the customer is it really gives you a point of call for some of those tricky scenarios that you can face in practice. We understand that a solicitor on their day-to-day -day work has so much going on. We're like the solicitor in the office next door that you can knock on the door and say, can you help me out with this? Can I run this past you? They're also a really good research tool, I think, because if one solicitor has faced an issue, it's likely that another one has. So if your question has probably already been answered before. The quality of the practical law service is driven a lot by the passion of the people that write it. I am an ex-construction lawyer. I still have a passion for construction law. My team still does. That passion is shared across teams, across specialisations and across practical law.